Hey everybody, this is Red Specs Gaming, and welcome back to Minecraft Eternal. Um, on this episode, we're going to continue making the parts list that we need to make our power plant, our canola farm that we're building. Um, but let me say up front, I apologize for the audio in this episode. Uh, when I recorded this, we had just moved our office downstairs, and we're getting everything set back up. And I thought I got my audio levels right, but apparently Windows had reset my mic so that it was at max level. So it was recording way too loud, and you'll be able to hear that kind of in the, the audio there. I, I'm going to try to clean it up as much in post as I can, but bear with me. It gets better after this episode. Um, that said, um, sit back, relax, and let's get started. All right, so I've been doing a lot of mining. As you can see down here, I'll show you just pathways and pathways and pathways and I don't really have a pattern I know that kind of probably triggers some people um, but when I'm doing crazy mining down at bedrock I just kind of go um, but I wanted to show you how easy mining has become now that we have the ultimate pick and so I figured I'd pick a spot that I hadn't already done let's go with this direction here and what I do is I just set my pick to be 3 by 3 and then I just excavate and of course a lot of times you're gonna hit lava at this level that's gonna be a problem um, so I've been hitting some other areas too but anyways three by three and I just run down this way and I just basically I just open up a tunnel all the way down I let my auto torch drop in torches behind me I don't even mess with the stuff until I hit lava like that and usually I just make a long corridor with just uh, three by three but as you can see we've run out because there's a big lava pool here and then I turn my pick into none and I just go back through the pathway that I just did and I clean up everything behind me as I go and that way I get all the goodies really easy to get you know or that way because you know that the, the none will help you find stuff or will help you just pull everything out of the wall that's there looks like we get some more diamonds here I think I found about nine diamonds on the first trip and so there's some more free diamonds I'll take them well they're not free but so yeah that's how mining is now now that we've got this awesome pick and it's pretty sweet pretty sweet deal but anyways I'll see you guys back at the top okay so everything's put away um, I figured we would come out here and check our traps real quick and see how we're doing got some raw turkey some feathers some eggs these are out of bait I'll have to make some more bait got some leather nice Chicken, mutton. So basically, we've been catching all the animals here. Raw venison. Nice. And good way to get leather, apparently. So there's all that. And then let's take a look down here at the water traps. We'll have to rebate these. Ooh. Bing pot drinker of blood. Uh, he dead now. Yeah, he's too far away. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. Got some eel, raw fish, shrimp, scallops, crab, tuna. Nice. Some more scallops, some eel, more crayfish, catfish, a frog. Task complete. Raw frog. All right. So all these are nice. Um, let me go ahead and um, make some more bait here real quick to re-bait these. So if we do that and that, and we go bait. Um, let's just go straight fish trap bait, which we should have the raw fish for this. So put that in there. That gives me 36 there. Something I want to show you guys that you can do in this pack is you can take any of these fish, like this raw tuna, for example, and you can turn it into a raw fish. So anything that you want to get raw fish from, Maybe not the, the shellfish types, but like the regular fish types, catfish, they can become raw fish. So that's a good way to get fish. So anyways, I'm going to get all these rebated, and um, I will continue afterwards. Okay, so now that we've got some mining done, we've collected a lot more stuff. I melted all the tin that we had here. You can see we've got a ton of tin. Um, and then that brought our uh, iron back up to 30, so that's pretty good. Um... 
Next thing I want to deal with is black quartz because black quartz we use in a lot of the electronic stuff as you saw last episode. And um, on this episode, I want to start not losing out on that because when we cook a single black quartz in um, the furnace, we only get one. So let's do that real quick. I'll show you that. So black quartz. Scary sounds. Um, that gives us... Where, where's the black quartz at? Just the regular black quartz. Um, bah, bah, they're right there. So we can get that by smelting it, right? And we get one. We smelt that, we get one. But if we do it in a crusher or some kind of crushing thing, we'll actually get more out of it. So like the big crusher we can do, we get two out of that. And we might do the big crusher later when we have more power. But it, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a small one. And maybe we'll look at the pulverizer. Let's see what that takes to make. Pulverizer is a machine frame, a piston, some flint, copper gears, and redstone receptor. That doesn't look too bad to do. Um, but let's look at this machine frame. And this is going to be glass, a tin gear, and iron ingot. So that's really not hard to do at all. So let's work on that. Let's make a crusher real quick. So if we do back to that guy, let's get back to what we were looking at. The crusher, or the pulverizer, sorry, the pulverizer. Um, machine frame. So we need a tin gear. Easy enough. Done. And then if we back up one second here, let's see, where were we? Back up. Okay. So as I was saying, um, so I had a phone call kind of threw me off there. Um, so we had the, the, that guy. Um, and if we go back to the back quartz again, go to the pulverizer, we could probably just type pulverizer in. And we do the machine frame, we're looking at glass, that, and that. We might have everything we need then, which of course we don't. Um, so we need some glass. So uh, let's quickly... I use up the glass quicker than I can make it. One of these days I need to just sit back and make a ton of glass. Um, but none of this will work, I don't think, because I think it has to be vanilla glass. No, that worked. Perfect. Okay, so we've got a machine frame. Nice. And we're making the pulverizer, right? So let's do pulverizer. My typing skills are atrocious. Um, and then we need one of these. We've got that guy. Then we go back to the pulverizer again. I think we should be able to swing this. We might need the piston. Yeah, of course we do. Of course we need a piston. So let's make a piston. And then I think we needed copper gears, which easy. One, two and done now we have a pulverizer and now we can grab out of here because i send all the ore this way um we'll take this stack of black quartz ore here and we'll double our black quartz output with this because we're not just cooking it so if we throw this guy here he hooks up let's uh make sure he's got in just insert not extract we don't need anything here, because this will just confuse things, so get rid of this one here, if we can. Um, eh, it might not matter. Um, and let's throw some more coal into here, so let me grab some quick coal here. Boop, boop, boop. Coal. There we go. Nice stack of that. Chuck that in there. And then... That should start cooking. Now these will turn off um, from receiving anything. I always put them on extract and turn off insert and then never active because that basically um, keeps them from losing this connection. I found that if you do neither insert nor extract, you lose this connection. And I haven't really figured out how to get it back once it's lost. So I just keep them set to that. And then you'll see that this guy then gets all the power. Uh, and when we get this this power source done, they can all stay on all the time and it won't matter. Our power source will be strong enough to, to keep everything fueled. Alright, so now that he's fully powered up, we can just chuck that in there. And we can time in a bottle it. Um, I used a lot of time in the bottle earlier today, so I'm down to an hour when I cooked all of that tin. And I actually got gold, and I did the iron. So that ate up all my time in the bottle. I was doing that right before work this morning. Generally, I only record on the weekends, and this past weekend we were moving the office downstairs, so I didn't get a chance to record. So I'm not sure. This, you guys might have noticed a lag in videos after a certain point. 
Hopefully not. Hopefully I can catch up. But either way, you can see for every one of these, we're getting two black quartz now. And so I'm just going to let that cook. I'm not going to speed it up. Let it do its own thing. And we're going to use that black quartz here because what we're going to make now is the empower. And I think that's where we left off before I needed to go mining. And so the empower is made. Let's start first with a display stand. And the display stand needs these advanced coils, which need the basic coils. And I know we're going to need a few of these, so I'm just going to go ahead and make four of them and toss them in there. Um, and then we go back to the display stand. And I don't remember if we made... I didn't think so. So we need to make some of this ethic green block. And what that is is you take quartz blocks and you chisel them. So let me grab some quartz out real quick. We'll grab uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why not? Good round number. And then we get out of the, I think I've got all my tools over here. Oh, you'll notice I also, I put all my clothes, my armor on a stand here while I'm not carrying it. Um, I don't like wearing it around the base. I don't know. Whenever I kind of go in and out of the scenes, I like to be able to look like me. Um, so we take that guy, we we'll go like that, and we're going to chisel this, and we're just going to make it chiseled quartz blocks. Just that. Chisel the whole stack, and then we can take that, and we can throw that into the laser and so we will need to put this on insert so he starts getting power we chuck that in there bam and then that's it now we can take that off of insert save the power tanky it's getting a little deep in there buddy i hope you can hold your breath all right and then if we look in our pickup bag bam ethic green block we're good there so chuck that back in here beep and I think we were low on ethic quartz, so let's figure out how we make that again. That was... Oh, no, wait. It was in here. Ethic quartz was just regular quartz. So let's do a couple more of those. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Run back over here. Take that. That doesn't need to be chiseled, just plain old quartz blocks. Let's turn that back on. And toss that in there. Pew pew. And we got that. Turn that back off. There we go. I guess you can leave extract on these. Just have them on never active. And that way they don't actually do anything when you turn off that. Chuck that back in here. Probably in my pickup bag. This is why I like to turn these off when I'm around the base. I just forget to do it. Alright. There. There. We need to make an advanced coil out of that basic coil, which is just surrounding it with gold nuggets. I'm going to go ahead and make three of them. I think that's what we're going to need. And now we can take him, and we can go bam. Now we've got a display stand. And actually, we're going to need five display stands, because to build this whole empower system, you need five of these. Well, you need four of these, and then another uh, one of these. So basically, let's go ahead and see... Yeah, okay, so I need to make some more ethic. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Um, I don't know if that's enough, but you know what? That'll be good enough. I just thought I heard a door open. I realized it was because I was walking past that thing. Okay, so let's chisel some of this. Chisel eight of it. And then we'll toss both of these in there. Turn him back on real quick. Bam, bam. You go in. You go in. And then we got that. Now we go back. We can turn that back off. Oh. Alright. Chuck these back in, of course. You know what? I just start... Boom. Move them in there. They'll be back in the network immediately. All right, so we needed, like I said, five of these guys. So, bam, we only have one of these left. That gives us two, so we need two more past this. Let's make two more of those real quick. One, and we, of course, got to make the first part of it, which is this guy. There's two, and then we take him. There's enough there now. And now we can make you into doom, doom, doom. All right, so that gives us five of these, right? And we're going to use one of them to make the display stand. And, of course, we're out of ethic quartz again. <laughs> that quickly. That's how this stuff works. Um, so let me get this together, and I'll be right back. Ooh, look at that. Just waiting outside my door. 
That is a big, scary-looking mob right there. Look at him. Oof. I think these things hunt your livestock. You know what, wolf? Oh, you're not gonna let me rest? Oh, wait. I got, a, I got an answer for him, though. Hang on. I got an answer for him. Bye-bye. Thanks, little bed pet. Anyways. So I think I got confused before. He just disappeared. He didn't even burn up. He just poofed. Um, I think I got confused before because I was looking at the Empower. And I saw this. And I thought, quartz blocks. But actually, these are iron casings. So, easy peasy lemon squeezy. There's two iron casings. And now we need to make... We I think we have Redstonia Crystal already. Now we need to make a double battery, which is made with a single battery. Which is made with an advanced coil, some of these Inori crystals, which we covered before, and redstonia. Uh, and of course we don't. Of course we don't. Why would we? Um, so let's make one of these. No, nope, we got to make the base first. Good times. Good times were had by all. Let's just go ahead and make two of them, just in case. All right, and that's all we need that. There you go. Two more advanced in there, just in case. And then we go you and you. There's a single battery. And then we take that to make a double battery. And now we have a double battery. But one thing you need to be aware of is this is a full double battery. So to make that double battery full and to be able to make the final part, the empower itself, we need to fill that up. So to do that, we're going to make a charging station. And the charging station shouldn't be too complicated. Um, let me see which one I made before. I think it's this guy. This guy's not too bad. He needs some copper coils, some treated wood, some iron ingots, and an MV wire. Well, copper coil's not a big deal. So we take copper wire, which we get by taking copper plates, which um, we can pour out with a plate mold, which I think we already have a plate mold. And this is actually a good time anyways, because we've got a bunch of freaking copper in here that needs to get out of there. So we'll just take this stack of copper, or not get out of there, but be be turned into usable copper. So let's turn those off, and then let's pop this in here real quick. Boop, 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 like that. Let that melt down. Give me my plate mold, which there's another way to do this that's better. But again, we'll get into that once we have a real power source. I'm kind of trying to get ahead of myself and do the real power source before we do all the other machinery. So we'll just make a bunch of these real fast. I think we can probably get by with, I don't know, like four of them maybe. All right, and so that's what we need there. That's good. And then let's see what we have left real quick. It says 10 blocks, six ingots. So let's get six ingots out real fast. It's one. Two, three, four, I'm only not cutting because it's only six, five, and then that's six, and then that should be an even, no wait, I counted ahead of myself, there's one more, and then we can just open this up, and this will drain the rest of the blocks out for us. Alright, and so to make the wire, we needed, um, let's take a look at that again, copper wire, to learn how to type around my mic being in the way here. Copper wire. It's made with shears or engineers wire cutters. Let's take these. We'll make some wire cutters. And then what you do is you take the copper plates out. Or you can even just do it in here. We'll just put those copper plates there. Throw that in there. Bam. That gives us four copper wire. Really? You just get a single copper wire per plate? Ain't that annoying. Alright, so what about a coil? Can we do, how many do we need for that? Copper coil? This guy? Was it LV wire? Copper? No, wait. Let's go back and look at the battery again real quick. Or the, the charging station. Work backwards. Charging station. And it's the one, in case you guys are curious, because I know a lot of people want to know, this is the one from Immersive Engineering. Um, we actually need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. So that means we need a lot of that. How about that version of copper wire? What's that? I don't know if I know what that version of copper wire is. Um, how do we get back? There. There. 
just curious how we make this. Well, that's really easy. That's just some planks and some dude. No need to make plates. Do that. Yes, let's do two two chunks of that. Let's do that. All right, now we go back to our charging station again. We're going to work backwards from there. We're going to go um, here. You, you take iron and then LV wire coil, which we can make this way. Two, three. I think we needed eight of them, maybe. And then we can make the copper foil block, which is eight of those and a wire iron. We got that guy. And then we can make, we need a treated wood. We're going to need to do the MV wire, which I think we can do. That's just iron and terracotta, so that's good. Um, the treated wood is different, though, so let me get a bucket real quick. And I'll show you how you make treated wood. You remember how I told you we were going to need some of that cresote oil? Well, this is why. And actually, let's grab four buckets worth. We'll make a bunch of treated wood real fast. So this cresote or creosote, however you pronounce it, maybe creosote. You take this and you treat wood with this. So if we come in here and we chunk all of that creosote in there, and then we do treated wood real quick. There's treated wood planks like that. And it's just basically any old wood and a bucket of creosote oil. So we're going to go with oak because oak is our throwaway. And we can do that again. Bam. We do that four times, so we get, like, what is it, 32 worth built up in here? Bam. Boom. All right, so now we've got 32 uh, treated wood. And now we can go back again to our charger. Our charging station, I should say. Did I spell it wrong? Yeah, I did. Um, charging station. Where are you at? Where, where are you at? Blind, where to go? Maybe it's charging, not charge. Yeah, it's right there. And we need those, we need that, we need some glass. I think it might have to be green stained glass though. Nope, regular glass works. Okay, and bam. And of course we don't have the glass. Why don't we have glass? Let's see, maybe we manually type that in? Manually put it in there? Glass? Glass doesn't pull on its own real well, I'm noticing. There you go, charging station. All right, and now we run over here to where our battery is, We're running out of spaces on here. We're gonna just go ahead and chunk him down right there. Um, Maybe not. It didn't seem like he hooked up. Maybe we put him on top, let's see. We just throw him on top of this thing, maybe that'll work. You go here, you go here. Yep, see he's starting to get charged now. And then you take your battery, and any tool you need to charge, you just toss it right in here. And you see how it's like, it goes down to zero real quick, the, the charge up in the top left there. Um, but it is slowly starting to charge in here. And then this guy, this guy here, he was making us quartz. And so what we'll do is we'll cut the power to this guy again. So if we, he is cut. Yeah? Yeah, okay. So he's not getting any power let's cut the power to this guy too okay and we really need to cut the power at that level and the only way we can do that is to get down low then we can go in here and then we don't want this connection at all because we're connecting from the side and now the power coming out of this should only be going into this as far as i can tell oh that's weird see how it okay because it's all going into the into the battery is what was happening um, so let me get that back. Let me get that back. Let's put that back over here. Oop. All right, he's charging up. Not super fast, but he's charging up. Um, let's get it to 3,200 real quick. Or I guess let's just leave it there. And that is super slow. 80% efficiency. Wowzers. Okay. Um, I guess I will cut here, and we'll wait for that battery to be fully charged, and uh, we'll come back. Hey, guess what, everybody? I was wrong. This battery does not need to be fully charged. It just has to be a double battery, and then it can go in here. 
as you can see, we can get our empower now. Now we have an empower. Sweet. Um, I got a bunch of copper left on me. There's a bunch of copper here too. Let's just go ahead and chunk that in here real fast and we'll just let that do its thing. It'll pour out. Alright, so now let's see what we have here. We now have three canola presses, six fermenting barrels, an atomic reconstructor. I think we might actually need a second atomic reconstructor. Let me think real quick. No, we just need one. Two fluid placers, two fluid collectors, four scanners, uh, four sequencers, an oak pressure plate, an empower, and four display stands. And then, of course, we're going to need a whole bunch of... Uh, what are they called? Um, but, but, but I can never think of the names of these things. Conduits, that's it. And we're going to need all the kinds of conduits. So, any kind of conduit we can come up with, we need to find. Um, which I think I actually have them over here. And so I'm going to probably spend a few minutes building a bunch of conduits. I think I want at least a 64 stack of each of them. Hey, look, there's all that black quartz this guy made. Um, I'm going to get this turned back on so he continues to make black quartz. And uh, we will continue when I get back. So I need to make some quite clear glass, which uses regular glass. But to make regular glass, I need sand. So one thing you can do is with your crusher or your pulverizer is you can throw cobblestone in there. And you can get gravel with that, and you get a side effect of sand. But then you can also take the gravel and toss that back in there real quick and show you what you got here. And from that, you will actually get sand as well. So it's a good way to make sand if you don't have a, a large desert anywhere near you like I currently do not. So I'm going to be continuing to do making these. You can see we've already got the item conduits. We're working on the fluid conduits now, and that needs quite clear glass. So back when we have everything. All right, so while we're waiting on some redstone alloy, which we've covered, that's iron and redstone, to make the rest of these energy conduits, there's one more conduit we need to make, and that is the redstone conduit. And this is for passing redstone signals, and we'll need that. To make that, though, we need redstone alloy, and redstone alloy is uh here real quick where is it it's melting redstone alloy is hold on how'd i get here i got in the wrong place let's start over redstone alloy if you look at alloy furnace it's silicon and redstone and there's two kinds of silicon there's nuclear craft and then there's applied energy sticks and nuclear craft, um, I'm not sure how we get that silicon, I think. But basically, if we cook some quartz, we'll get some silicon. So we need to cook some quartz for that. I want to look at the other kind real quick, just to be sure. So if we go in here, and we go in here, and we look at that kind. Hold on, we'll just do silicon here. Silicon. I think this one was annoying, which is why I'm not thinking about it. Oh, that's Ender IO silicon. There's the nuclear craft silicon. So that one is actually done with, what is it? That's a crusher. It's crushing silt, sand. You can get some silicon out of that. Or stonework, same thing. Or manufacturing, same thing. So that's actually not too bad, actually. That one's not bad. But what about this one, which is Ender IO silicon? Might be the same thing, actually, because that doesn't click any different, right? And really, I don't want to use my quartz until we have a bunch of it. So what we'll probably do is we will use the this guy. Yeah. And we'll send through a crusher some silt or some sand or some red sand. Except I don't have a crusher. So it's not the same thing as what I made. I made the pulverizer. And I don't see the pulverizer as one of those. Um, so let's see. What was the other one? Let me look real quick. All right. Well, maybe we'll just we'll, we'll give up a little bit of quartz. And to get some quartz dust, we've got to pulverize it, I think. I think it'll go through the pulverizer. Let's find out. Yeah, there it is right there. So we get one for one on that. So let's grab some quick quartz real fast. Quartz me up, yo. Did I spell that wrong? I did. Extra button in there. Ah. So I've moved, like I said, my office downstairs, and because I've moved my office downstairs, let's do eight. 
Because I moved my office downstairs, I'm trying a new sound here. You might notice, hopefully, that my sound is better than it was. And that's because I've got everything placed right. We've got a nice room where we've got surrounded by cloth and stuff. I'm hoping it's a lot better. Um, but the problem is, is with the, my mic where it belongs, right over my keyboard, right in front of my face. can't see my keyboard, and I'm not much of typing without being able to look at my keyboard. So yeah, you'll see me mistype a lot until I get used to this. Alright, let's get the quartz. And then if we cook this, we should then get the, um, the silicon. And hopefully this is enough. I don't think we need a ton of redstone conduit. Because we're not running long redstone lines right now. We're just doing a little bit of work around where our fluid production is going to be. So I think we'll, we'll see what we can get by with the six that we've made. I think it should be enough. So actually we're getting we're getting two per. That's kind of nice if we are. And we'll get eight, eight's worth here. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. We pulled out eight. Never mind. I'm dumb. Ignore me. All right. Last one. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Slowing down because it's running out of power. Dunk. All right. Hey, Bejeweled 2. Chuck that in there real quick and let that cook into silicon. And then I should have this. All right. So um, that is, if we look at that again real quick here. What is it? It is the... Redstone alloy. No, wait, not redstone alloy. Redstone conduit. My bad. This guy. He needs the redstone alloy. And then the alloy again is, is redstone and that. So we get that out of here. I've got some glass for my last. Oh, wait, that's already cooking. Okay, you know, wait. Okay, I'm with you. Brain death. This is what happens when you try to record on a, after work instead of just recording on the weekends. My brain's already fried from eight hours of programming video games. All right, so let's get this out of here real quick. This is the molten conductive ironing or ironing iron. Let's get that out. That's three ingots in a block. One. Get out the block. Two. Come on, you. Two, three, then we can chuck in the silicon, which doesn't go in there. Huh. Okay, how do we do this then? Let me think real quick. I need the redstone first. Grab some redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then... We're making redstone alloy. And I imagine that we need to do it in an alloy furnace. And I'm not 100% sure, but we might have one of those. Simple alloy smelter. Wonder if that'll do it. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. I think that might do what we need. Alloy smelter, same thing as an alloy furnace some ways, right? Let's see what happens here. There we go. Redstone alloy. Okay. We take that and we go to the conduit. Redstone conduit. This guy here. And we need three of these. All right, so let me grab the rest of those, and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so now we have redstone alloy, and we've got a conductive iron here. We put a pulsating iron here. We're probably going to have to do something to give us some more of these slots before too long here, but I made nine of them, so we should get a total of 24. That should be more than enough. Redstone transfer. All right, so now we have all of that. So now we're going to switch gears to something else. So that's as good as the stopping point is anywhere. Uh, we got most everything made now for the canola farm. Um, we need to make a place that we're going to make the canola farm, and we'll do that in the next episode. Um, 
So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button. Uh, if you're not following the channel, hit the subscribe button. That'll let you know uh, when I put a new video out, and it really does help the channel out, so I appreciate that. Also, come on over and see us at uh, twitch.tv slash redspecsgaming on Tuesday through Saturday nights. I uh, live stream, and we're playing uh, the new ARC DLC right now, so it'd be nice to hang out with you over there. So in the meantime, you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you later.